WWE Elite Squad, you're watching Gizmo 305. Hey guys, welcome back to Gizmo 305. Today, as you can see, we have a brand new series of Elite Swan Boxing Review here on the channel. That is Elite Series 66, and we're going to be unboxing them here, so let's get started. Alright guys, and we are going to get started with this review, and we are going to start off with none other than Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Nikki Cross. Now, the Bludgeon Brothers and... Nikki Cross from Sanity guys now I am really happy to open this figures and at the same time I know this is a little late but you know Mattel has to produce mass quantities it takes a while for them and I know you know that you know the Bludgeon Brothers are no longer a tag team but you know nonetheless a super cool it was a great gimmick I really liked it and you know I love to add them to my collection in figure form so let's go ahead and open them up take a look at them and let's get started Alright guys, now let's get started with this review and we're first going to take a look at Harper and Rowan, the Bludgeon Brothers. Super awesome figures. From the moment I saw Mattel, you know, show these figures, I knew I had to add them to my collection. So now they're here, so let's take a look at them together. Uh, first thing I want to point out, as I said before guys, all the new Elites, uh, or most of the new Elites, are coming with interchangeable hands. In this case, for Rowan, you get this fist which is, you know, just all closed down fists, just ready to punch somebody in the face for each hand, the same exact uh, one. And for Harper, you do get also the same thing, but one of the hands, as you can see right here, it does not have like that sleeve design with, you know, the, the burgundish color. So you do get, you know, just the fist itself right there. You can see the detail on, you know, the veins pop out right there. I hope that, you know, you're catching that right there. Super, super cool. Now next, we're gonna take a look at, you know, their iconic mallets, right? Super cool to see this, uh, Mattel including with the figure. So here it is, the Bludgeon Brothers mallet. You see the Bludgeon Brothers logo right there on the front. Uh, it has some sort of like uh, nail uh, edging on the sides of it and the pick front super cool on both sides something going down on uh, the neck of the mallet which I want to I want to say it, it has to read something for bludgeon brothers or something I don't understand what that says but if you do let me know I can just guess uh, bludgeon brothers more nail uh, designed down here by the grip of the mallet and all the way down it has this like dark brownish color super cool to see this accessory i really really am happy that they added this mattel went all out with this figures that's why i was excited to pick them up uh when i saw them guys so now let's go ahead and take a look at the figures and we're going to start with luke harper now this guy i don't know where he is of the making of this video we have no idea where he might be we know where rowan is he's with the new daniel bryan as a manager i believe for the time being but Harper has completely disappeared. Bludgeon Brothers are no longer up for what I can tell, for what it seems. So let's take a look at this figure. As you can see, it comes with a removable uh, big old trench coat. And it is super easy to take off, guys. This time around, you know, the rubber uh, coat is not going to give us a fight. It is very easy to come off. Uh, as you guys can see, it's just, it gets caught up on his hair. There it is. Super easy to take off. It's just, you know, he has this little thing on the top of his hair where sometimes it gets caught up. But now let's take a look at the head and bring him up close. That is Luke Harper for you guys. Look at that beard. Holy cow, that beard is awesome. As I keep turning the figure, you can see the, de the detail and the designs that go all the way from the hair. That, you know, kind of like men bun at the top. Super cool super super awesome you kind of can see a little bit of shine reflect from the hair i really really dig that i really dig this head scan i mean for me i gotta say it does look like luke harper 100 percent now all the design now going down on the shirt as you can see right there from the bludgeon brothers all the black patches on that uh like i said like on that kind of burgundy color uh top all the way around a lot of detail a lot of design on this figure you can see right there the arm sleeve same exact thing and like where I was pointing at with the hand see how one has that sleeve going all the way down and the other one does not so super cool to see this from Mattel now we're gonna go down you can see a little bit of silver here for the belt 
on the waistline and more design on the pants with that same pattern of black and burgundy all the way down to uh well i want to i don't know if i should call this kick pads but uh more like shin guards i want to say these are more like shin guards and then the boots at the very bottom in black uh all the way down this figure overall guys full of detail a hundred percent worth uh the pickup from this figure so the torso moves just you know just right uh for an elite figure I really, really like everything about the figure. The only thing is that mine, uh, for some reason, the arms on this side, well, at least this arm does not go all the way down. I think I'm going to have to figure a way to get that to work. Uh, but for now, the figure as it is, I really, really like it. I mean, mainly, not, it's not a problem mainly because it's just going to sit in my collection. As you can see in the back, I just display most of my figures. So not a big deal. Uh, and here is the code. Now we're going to take a look at this. It's all one piece, guys, with, uh, well, right there one of the uh, arms on the side uh here it, it is the one that comes out it has a hole right there and then it has the uh sleeve on the other side so same pattern with the red and burgundy some darker some lighter but you know some shades of color there all around and then of course the bludgeon brothers logo on the back uh of the uh coat you kind of can make it there because you know they were trying to you know you know they're trying to make it look a little bit of you know uh bludgy you know you know make it look like you know these guys have been through hell and high water so this this just looks cool i like the design i like how mattel went about it and i do not mind that is a robber uh you know trench coat super cool to see this so i'm going to go ahead and put this back here and now let's take a look at eric rowan which you know this guy man when i saw this mask I just wonder if Mattel one day would ever make it. And if you guys don't remember, before he was in the Bludgeon Brothers, he wore it. Uh, I don't remember I when exactly, but I remember he was with Bray Wyatt. It was part of the Wyatt family, and he had this with kind of like a little bit of hair as well or something like that. It was just so cool. And, it, well, now we have it here in figure form. So let's take a look at that, and let's see how that works out, right? Because we want to take a look at the head scan. And all you got to do is just lift the mask like this. We well, want to put it down for now, but I'm going to show you how that works. And let's first take a look at the figure itself. As you can see, the head scan right there, that big, big red beard like that ginger color beard. Super, super accurate to Eric Rowan. Now, I would have loved to do a comparison with the other uh, figures that we have gotten because, well, this is not the first time in the line for this figures. I mean, we've had uh, Harpers and Rowans before, like I said, with the Wyatt family. When they were members of the Wyatt family, but as the Bludgeon Brothers, yeah, this is the first time in the line we're getting them. We have not gotten basics. We went straight to Elites, which that, for me, is a big thumbs up for Mattel. Super cool to see this. And now, let's go ahead and take a look at that mask that I was telling you, because, guys, this is so cool. Now, let me bring it up here. Oh, there it is. As you can see right there, how cool. Now, you wonder, how do you get it to stay? Is it all one piece? Well, it's not one piece, guys, because what you want to do is you see where the ear is at. It kind of uh, goes in there. So let me get this out. You see there's a little bit of a, there's a little of a hole right here on the side of his hood. So what you want to do is you put this uh, side of the ear, which is well, basically the only ear that you have on this mask, and you put it through here like so and that's what holds you know everything together into one piece right there for Rowan so super super cool to see this we're gonna put the mask down here now and now let's go ahead and take a look at the figure as you can see basically almost the same design as Harper is just a little bit different because well this time around you do not have that one piece uh, top hood it actually came separate so we're going to take a look at the colors and everything on this one. So as you can see on the Harper one, it had a little bit more of a black on the front. As uh, you can see there, as on this one, it has a lot more red. And well, you know what? No sleeves at all on the coat. It has the same pattern color of black and, you know, a little bit of a darkish uh, red and burgundy all mixed up together on here. It does come with the full Bludgeon uh, Brothers logo on the back, as you can see right there. It's not just, you know, partial. It's the full logo, uh, unlike the one from Harper. So it's super cool, you know, different, but, you know, at the same time, so similar and super, super epic. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. And if you can see right here on the top of this figure, you do get a different design than Harper. Harper had a uh, stitch more like uh, design on the top as, you know, 
Rowan has that, you know, that just that band going across like this on the front of a shirt. And it has a little bit of some, you know, small studs here on the end of, you know, what, you know, could be the end of the tank top uh, for uh, Harp, for Rowan, I'm sorry. And it does come with this belt, as you can see, with a lot more studs here all the way around. Uh, and you can see kind of like where it all gets put together here, where it gets laced up on the back. Well, if you undo this, I do not recommend it as, you know, once you do that, sometimes it is extremely hard to put back together. So I wouldn't recommend you doing that. But if we turn around, uh, you do see the full logo of the Bludgeon Brothers here on the front. Uh, on the sleeves, it does kind of have that same stitch, uh, stitching pattern, or I don't, I don't know what to call. It. Yeah, it is stitching pattern because you know it's it's the same design that Harper has. So yeah, the same about the same design. The pants is identically the same, with the red, uh, with a little bit of uh, well, I, I call it red or burgundy, either one. You let you know you make your pick and black on the pants, and then also the same exact design for the shin guards and the black boots right there as you can see so we're going to bring it up so that it can catch that there it is yep and that is uh eric rowan for you guys super cool super epic figures i really like these uh i do not have at the moment any problems with this figure i mean the arms and everything on like with harper uh, they feel right as I say they're going to be just part of my collection so they will be only displayed as you can see the all the figures in the back that I have uh, super ha cool and happy to have these figures in my collection and I really do recommend you go pick these up I was lucky enough to find them out of my local Walmart but if you don't you can go and pick them up from ringside collectibles I'm going to give you a code down here which is code hero go support wrestling hero figs big friend of mine and uh, place your order at ringside collectibles the super cool figures i do recommend you pick them up and now let's get going with this review and let's take a look at the next figure all right guys and now last but not least let's take a look at none other than nikki cross now this figure is one of the main pieces i needed in my collection as you guys know we did the review for the brand new nxt takeover elites and i was able to secure uh the man himself the beast from belfast killian dane now uh, actually, if you guys didn't know, that's a funny fact. Uh, Nikki Cross is legally married to Killian Dane, so it's cool that he's going to get to see his wife come to my collection right now. I'm going to have them together as well as Eric Young, and we're going to build sanity, guys. I cannot wait to have that group together so I can, you know, share some cool pictures with you guys on Instagram. If you guys follow me, if you don't, I'm going to put my Instagram as well down here. Go follow me there. I put some awesome pictures from time to time, and I would appreciate to, you know, if you guys go take a look at them and let me know your thoughts and you know what you guys think about them so now let's get back to the review and with nikki cross and as you can see right here she comes with you know quite a few accessories uh she does come with those glasses and that same exact bandana across the face with the hood now i want to show you something guys this is not just you know if you guys remember how killian dane came with that one piece it was just a one piece with this uh vest or coat this is not this is just a removable piece the same thing as with you know eric young so all oh, one piece uh with the scarf and the hood but not with the jacket so it's just you know you can take this off if you want to just display her like this or however you like so this is one of the accessories right here the scarf and the hood is all one piece together uh we're gonna put this back here and now it comes with these glasses as you know nikki cross to you know come out with these glasses super cool figure so now you can just remove them if you don't like you know if you when you're ready to you know put her in your ring and you know have her beat up you know your entire women's division because nikki cross is one crazy woman and that's somebody you don't want to mess with and on the front of the uh her jacket if you will it has the uh flag if i'm not mistaken this flag has got to be for scotland which is where she's from now you do get all this uh, design as well from the belt that goes across all of these uh, edgings here and on the side the same exact uh, style uh, rug here on the side as you know we saw on Killian Danes and on this end right here more design on the jacket super cool the sanity uh, logo in the back that you know lets you know she's a member of the group right there on the back printed on the on the jacket 
And now we are going to do something that, you know, for a lot of my figures I don't recommend doing, which is, you know, open Pandora's box. Because once, sometimes, on most of the figures, once you, you know, break this uh, small little seal here from the jacket, it's almost impossible for you to, you know, get it back on there. But we'll see how uh, Nikki Cross, you know, uh, is underneath all this. We have to take a look. So we have to do it. And we're going to put this back here. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. And I got to say, I mean, the attire that they went with for this figure, it's pretty accurate to what she uh, wore on NXT, I believe, at the time where they made this figure. I don't know exactly the event or, you know, the shows or, you know, this show that she wore this at. But super cool to see that, you know, it is what Nika Cross would wear. And as you can see, more design here on her top, on the back, kind of like, you know, where it laces up from the back. Uh, some pocket design here on the back of Nikki Cross as well as on the side It has the same logo that we saw on the back of her jacket with you know a lot more uh, Design on the inside with more like silver silver and crosses going around and uh, you know all over Well, actually that thing that's the design for the Scottish flag. So my bad guys uh, Super cool to see that there on this figure a little bit of design if you kind of miss it on the inside of the thigh right there and on the leg if you I'm not careful, but it goes all the way down. As you can see on the front, a little bit of, you know, a couple tears here and there on this uh, side of the pants. Super nice to see Mattel put that much uh, effort into this figure and all that design is super, super cool. Now you see black uh, shoes on the bottom. The boots is just plain black. And on the front of the top, you do get more designs uh, going all the way up. Super pale skin. I don't know. She has the same tone skin as Paige. If you guys can see, that's the same exact uh, color they went with for this figure. Because, well, you know, her and Paige are pretty, pretty identical. And the face. I gotta say, guys, the face, I am not 100% convinced that is Nikki Cross. I just feel that Mattel could have done a lot better with, you know, a head scan. But... Overall, the figure, you know, to know that you have a uh, Nikki Cross in your collection is just, just cool overall. So, all right, guys, and this was the review for the brand new Elite Series 66. Now, I hope you guys like this review. As always, if you guys did, you know, give me a like. Turn on notifications. This is popping out down here. Let you guys know. Next time, I will be uploading here on YouTube. It's been Gizmo305. Talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.